they've got what seems to be a winning and effective strategy. And this fight against Iran is not going to be over in a week. It's likely to last for weeks, for months. And if Donald Trump is elected president, he's very likely to give Israel a free hand unless essentially Iran capitulates, unless we get some kind of regime change. Because if you eventually take out enough leaders of the Iranian regime. The average IQ in Iran is about 82. It's a lower average IQ than among African Americans or Mexican Americans. And so there's not a huge number of geniuses in Iran. And if you start assassinating the geniuses that run Iran, and they do have very smart people running the regime, right? There aren't an infinite pool of high IQ replacements and if Israel is effective at assassinating the leaders of the Iranian regime, as effective as they were against Hezbollah, then there's going to be a great deal of reluctance on the part of Iranians to step up and take leadership positions that are going to make them highly likely to be assassinated by Israel. So Israel is creating all sorts of incentives for the Iranian terror-supported network to rethink things and to step away from armed confrontation. Because when you're losing day in and day out and your leaders are getting assassinated, it's terrible for morale. It's terrible for communications. It's, it's very difficult to plan effective retaliation. And if all the leaders of the Iran Revolutionary Guard were taken out, that would dramatically handicap Iran's ability to respond to Israel, just as Hezbollah keeps lobbing rockets over at Israel, but they're not doing much damage. Hezbollah is not able to marshal a coherent and effective response to Israel's attacks. And if Israel wipes out the leaders of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard, right, the Iran will be much less likely to be able to mount effective responses to Israel's attacks.